Ah, uh, yes. The sweet music of Halo memories. Hello. Welcome. Welcome to my strangely Arabic-themed intro. It's good to see you. Welcome. Welcome back. Hold on. Let's play a... Let's do... We can, hold on. Give me a second. I don't want that one. You know what? We'll just do this for now. That's alright. Hey, it's good to see you guys, though. Finally, something worth watching. And yeah, suck my Spartan colored nuts. <laughs> oh, God! You ruined it, Joe! You ruined it! You read that? Do you see what it says down there? Bland gray bar. Thank you for the two, though. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. <clears throat> For yesterday's ship post stream, I finally found where and how to pull all of Goku's audio from Xenoverse 2. I already have four audios to use to ship post. One of them is definitely, hey, it's me, Goku. I also have his battle sounds good. Good. I just used that sound today for a ship post on Twitter. And it was good. It was alright, actually. It wasn't that good. <clears throat> right? I. I do not sound like Sea Dog. I, I definitely do not sound like Sea Dog. Actually, I kind of forgot what he sounds like. I'm, I'm not going to lie. So there's a chance I do, but I really doubt it. Yo, Demon! Thank you for the five, man. If they're colored like that, you might want to get them checked out. I won't. I'm going to have huge enlarged testes like uh, Stan's dad. In that one episode of South Park where they microwave their nuts. And you're going to like it, probably. I actually don't know if you're into that, but you might like it. I probably won't at first. Anyway, let's talk about Ultimate Forge. I'm going to do something really boring today, but I'm going to talk about it because it's boring while doing something that's not boring, which is piloting the Falcata. Oh, wait. Oh, oh, we're muted. We're muted. Couldn't let you guys hear me setting up my chair, so I had to mute it. Yeah, I'm going to pilot this Falcata. I'm even going to turn on my webcam. I'm feeling a little bit brave and bold today. A little, a little bit brave, a little bit bold, slightly beautiful even. I've been given access to maps using Ruby's Rebalance Halo 2 tags. Want to see some quick vids of some cool shit from them? I'll give you a super chat once I've recorded them. If you're allowed to. I don't know. If, I mean, if you're allowed to do that, hell yeah. Just don't want like their work to be revealed early. I did. Uh, did you do the thing I suggested yesterday? I, I can't lie to you, Darksteel. I cannot lie to you. I don't remember what you're talking about. What's the most boring thing in all of Halo? Who even made that thing? I bet they haven't even played Halo. True. What is this thing even, man? It's so dumb and stupid and dumb and stupid. Like, why would anybody even... I'm gonna give it damage states! I'm fine. I'm fine. Through the DM. Oh! Yeah, that was a good idea, and then I forgot about it. My bad. I've been given the go-ahead to share media from these maps. I'm willing to put one or two exclusive reveals for the stream. I'm so down. I want to see all that shit. That sounds dope. Is that actually Godzilla? That is actually Godzilla. Yes. World premiere. Yes, no, this, is, this really is Godzilla. And I mean, that's fine. I think Godzilla is a pretty cool guy. I would even go as far as to say he's somewhat underrated. Why not Godzuki? We don't talk about Godzuki, Skaboodly. We don't talk, this is a, this is a Godzuki free zone. All right, I'm going to do the wom wom oh wait, no, I'm not. All right, now I'm gonna do the womp womp womp. Oh, he's getting angry. He's getting real mad. Uh-oh. And everything exploded, what? All right. Modern Gamer, thank you for the $2. Appreciate it. Have you seen the new Halo 2 20 year anniversary statue? It looks so badass. I did. I saw it on Twitter and it looked fucking amazing. 
It was so cool. It's so cool. I really want to get one, but yeah. Uh, my paycheck comes in once a month, not twice a month. Very sad. How much is that thing? I'm actually considering considering it, but it'll probably get sold out like instantly, so there's no there's no shot. Joey Kirkpatrick, thank you very much for the five. I appreciate that. Thank you, thank you. Can't wait to see more weapons and vehicles in Ultimate Forge. Rejected shotgun is the ultimate cheese. I don't know really what that means, but there will be lots of new vehicles and weapons in Ultimate Forge today because I'm finally gonna do the thing. Can I rant at you guys for a second? I need to rant about something really stupid in, in Halo, in the Halo mod tools. I gotta rant about this. I can't... You might have thought at some point, like, Dang! Rejected sure is lazy. Why doesn't he just add a bunch of Forge objects to the menu and then give us a test version already? I mean, surely he can just add them to the list Wrong. You're so wrong, even. The most wrong you've ever been. It is not that easy. Let me show you something, all right? Let me, let me just, let me show you something. This is what the Forge palettes look like. Now, they're better now. They used to be horrible. These used to be awful. It used to be these were listed alphabetically. So you would add a new object to the forge list and it would add it alphabetically to the bottom of the list. Or it would you would think it would add to the bottom of the list so that you, this list right here looks like your forge menu, but no. Instead, it would be alphabetical. So you couldn't have any fucking reference for anything in here. And you had no way of reorganizing the list other than deleting everything and completely re-adding it all from scratch one by one. And I'm pretty sure I still have to do that. However, I'm going to test something and see if it works because they, at some point, a recent update to the mod tools did in fact add some level of fixing to this. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to insert before the Banshee a flyable Pelican tag. What in the, hold on, where is this? What? I'm so confused. Uh, okay. Hold on, give me one second. I, I, I'm really confused by what just happened. Tags. I'm doing sweet. Oh, whoops. Okay, yeah. So anyway, add the flyable pelican, which should be under pelican test. Pelican flyable. Yeah, there it is. All right, so we'll add that, give it the name Pelican, maximum allowed, 255. If this actually goes to the front of the list, I will be like shook to my core. I will shake, be shivering in my timbers. I'm gonna delete every vehicle on the map and I'm gonna remove a bunch of stuff from the menu that doesn't need to be there. And I'm just gonna pray and hope and pray some more that this does not cause any major disasters. But it should be fine. All right, let's open up Halo 3 Tag Test. Get ready for some nostalgia. What are we listening to? Age of Empires 3 soundtrack? Bitch, what? Kind of went hard, though. Did you see the real firearm BR-55 battle rifle? Yeah, that thing was fucking sick. It was so badass. Age of Empires 2 on. I don't know if it's copyrighted. I just, I don't know. I don't know. Alright. 20HN4. Then we're going to do this. We're going to do game. Multiplayer. Sandbox. Then we're going to do game. Start. Levels. Multi. Alpine. Sandbox. Alpine. Sandbox. And boom! That'll load us straight in to Ultimate Forge in the tag test. Goku clip was funny. Oh, I gotta check on it. I wonder if it, wonder if that tweet's doing good. Eh, it's doing okay. If a tweet doesn't do good enough, I delete it. It's on the cusp, it's on the borderline. I will consider leaving, I will consider letting that tweet live.
Wait, what? Age of Empires is great? Yeah. No, it is. Not as good as Lord of the Rings Brother uh, above me. Yeah, so true. You're so real for that. Alright, let's see if I can... I don't know if I can load into this in Tag Test, to be honest. It could crash. It actually could. Just some violent error will occur. Everyone will start screaming. They'll lose their goddamn minds. Yo, Joey Kirkpatrick! Thank you for the five. Appreciate that. Thank you very much. Me calling you cheese means I'm calling you Giga Chad. I... I thought I was up to date on all the fucking lingo. Apparently not. I could be the big cheese. Can I be the big cheese? I'll be I'll be the big cheese, 100 percent Oh hell yeah. Demon, thanks for the five, dude. Thank you, thank you. Lord of the Rings, Battle for Middle Earth. Or Lord of the Rings, Conquest. I'm gonna be so real. Did not play those games. I did not. I'm sure they're very cool though. Dude, how does the tag I know I have like a disgusting amount of tags on this map, but this is ridiculous, man. We have been loading for like two solid minutes, maybe three. I'm gonna have to optimize the fuck out of Ultimate Forge, man. This is crazy. At least light mapping won't be too bad. Sometimes I dream about cheese. So real for that. Does it mean we can place more Forge objects on the map? Uh, does what mean that? Did something happen that looked promising? There's no spawn point! God damn it. Oh, there we go. Mention the update to MCC. I was oh, that was an older update, unfortunately. Well, we're in though. We're in Forge. This is pretty cool. It's pretty, pretty cool. So no dono reading for me. It literally says, in, in my thingy. A few seconds ago, Joe the Assassin tipped two dollars. A few seconds ago. I almost don't even want to read it. That's the wow. Thank you for that too. Thank you for that too, Joe. Really, really appreciate that for that. A few seconds ago, me saying you're an L bot streamer means you're so cool and awesome streamer for real, for real. Source, trust me, bro. Oh, that's so nice of you. Wow, that's really thoughtful. <gasps> it actually worked. Oh, there is a god, and he is good. I was able to insert a pelican into the top of the forge menu. Oh my god, you can actually insert things into the forge menu. Holy shit. Yeah, I got the string wrong, but it's fine. That's insane. That's actually really insane. Why does the forge menu look so good? This is not what the Halo 3 forge menu used to look like. Is it just me or is it like way lighter in color? Yeah, I don't know. Anyways. Anyways. Is there any way to get in the pelican from the outside? Can I sneak in from like right here? No. There's just no way to do it. Maybe from the other side. Come on, I believe. I believe. It's gotta be a way. I, there's no way I did it perfectly. Oh, I did it perfectly, goddammit. 
I thought you were about to say Forge Menu is peak and I was about to tell you Cove Reach is better. I could literally make this look like the Reach Forge Menu, but I'm a Vanilla Plus enjoyer. And you know what that means. I'm barely going to change anything. What I do want to do, however, is change the look of the Forge Menu a little bit. Like, notice that everything here has a zero dollar cost. It's like, yeah, no shit everything has a zero dollar cost because I don't add a cost to anything. So I really should just remove that from the whole thing. There's no reason to have it on the menu. Actually, let's see if there's a video of Arcbound. I did something kind of neat with the, the Arcbound Forge list. I'm gonna go to one of my old Arcbound videos. Yeah, here's the release trailer from like, how many years ago is this? Oh man, three years ago. Look what I did to the Arcbound Forge menu. I just completely removed the count of how many you're allowed to have, and I completely removed the cost. I removed everything being capitalized, and then I just left it like this. I thought it looked a lot cleaner this way. Because it was like, in my Forge there are no limits. The limits is just, is your map overloading? This is a good mod. Ah, me talking. Hey, check me out. That's not me. Oh god, what a terrible Photoshop job I did on that. Ay ay ay. I can't believe I thought that looked good. This is a good mod though. I like I, I worked on this mod for so long. What if we just cash here as Halo 3 remaster but didn't remaster and it was just a one-to-one -one port of the levels? I don't even know what that means. Why would you why would you do a one-to-one -one port of the levels and not upgrade them? Latu's UI is very busy, but it looks so fun to look at and use. It's just so high tech and I agree! I wholeheartedly agree. Man, what do the comments say on this? Haha. <laughs> Now, I'm not exactly an old school custom edition player, but the words go remake huge ass still strike fear into my heart. That's funny. Wow, wait, that water shader looks way better than the one I'm using right now. Damn, I miss this mod, man. I remember like working on this. Placing this big bridge across the valley and thinking to myself, damn, that kind of looks like Halo CE. Ever hear transitions between video clips? Hard transitions are still transitions. Fading between every single clip is the most amateur thing of all time. Being comfortable using hard transitions speaks volumes. You need to star swipe for every transition. Yeah. This was before mod tools? Yeah, this was way before mod tools. Well, not way. Yeah, it was, it was like a year before mod tools came out. Maybe a year and a half. I even had drop pods back then. Blech. Anyway, anyway, I was just trying to look at the Forge menu, which I don't know if I want to do this, honestly. I, I kind of just want to keep it vanilla Halo 3, but it does look a lot cleaner this way. It really does. I'm tempted. I can just make it say Ultimate Forge there at the top. Right now, all it does is say Object Number Cost. It has these fucking ugly ass symbols everywhere. You gotta decide the price on the forge market for each item. You're so right. You're so right. Uh, well, I'm just really happy because I can insert a bunch of shit into the forge menu anytime I want now. Which means it's gonna be so hilariously easy to do anything on this. In fact, I already have the entire forge list laid out. Because I can insert stuff. Oh, it's just gonna be so easy. So, like, check it out, alright? We got... 
the usual vehicles available on the list. We got like Banshee, Brute Chopper, Hornet, Ghost, blah, blah, blah. Every vanilla vehicle, including things like the anti-air wraith and stuff, which I'm going to be honest, I'll be swapping that out for my own anti-air wraith. Um, and then I, there's things in here. That, guys, real talk. The Warthog Wrecked Turret. Have you guys ever actually used, is this, I could just delete this from the map and then it would be a, a free slot to spawn stuff. Like, bro, it's just a broken warthog with a turret. Like, this seems kind of useless to be honest with you. Yeah, delete. It's gone. It's over. Goodbye. Bye bye. I gotta fix all the prices again. It's a neat senior item, but that's about it. Yeah, it's all right. It's cool that it's interactable, but like, boring. Replace it with a Banished Scarab. I'm actually so tempted to do a Banished Scarab really soon. That sounds like a lot of fun. I don't know if it's worth it for me to modify um, the Forge menu at all. Because I have not had any luck using the mod tools modifying the Forge menu. You notice how it says like structure and nature? That has never actually changed anything when I go into game. I'm going to rename all these spawners. I'm going to just make like a spawner category and just be like AI comma brute or whatever. And yeah, having them be in all caps does make it a little bit annoying to read. Like, I'm gonna try something, all right? There's, that's the before. I gotta, I gotta remember where this is all located, but I think, I think I remember where all this was. Halo X, Sandbox UI, um, not the legal, it was not object properties. Inbox budget. I could literally just like get rid of the budget off the screen. There's that's just useless. It's just taking up space for no reason. I might just remove that entirely. Um, but I'm looking for sandbox create menu, I believe. So yeah, we got text blocks. Item cost, name, and items left. So that's like the number. And this bitmaps block has the black bar and everything. So this is a, wait, this is a GUI skin definition. I need to find the parent of this. Down with the currency system. Yeah, it's completely useless. Here we have object list template. What? There's a certain tag I'm looking for for this. What is the E3 folder? Um, I think it's just sandbox UI is gonna be the thing, right? C HUD. No, that's not gonna be it. It's gotta be where I've got it right here. I think it is this, but this is just the GUI skin definition, which is just gonna like generally say like how it how it looks. Um But the, all this has is the create menu itself, which has how many items are left? The 
Oh wait, value identifier is name and then item cost. If we look at the menu, I think this is for everything in the list. So you see it's name. Name right here, uncheck uppercase. And look at that! Look how much... E Dude, is it just me or is that not like a million times easier to read? Now that it's no longer uppercase. It just like hurt my eyes before. It was like, it was like the menu was screaming at me. That just looks better. Like, man, that looks so much better. Are you kidding me? That's what it should be like. Menu literally was just screaming at me for so long. Ah, oh, so much nicer. That also means I can fit more text on screen at one time because the lowercase letters are generally smaller. Well, the other thing I can do now is the um, items <laughs> left. Yo, is that Exilus with a $6 tip? Thank you very much. Appreciate that. Thank you, thank you. Thank God you decided to go back to Halo 3. Halo 2 modding will remain in a half-dead state for a good while. Unless I revive it myself by making a gigantic... Guys, I had this idea. I was playing Gmod the other day. And I was looking and I was like, you know, GM Big City, which let me refresh. Let me refresh. I was like, GM Big City is a very simple map. You guys know GM Big City. Every Gary's Mod player knows GM Big City. You know GM Big City very well, do you not? You know this map. It's simple. It's beautiful. It's all you could ever ask for in a Gary's Mod map. It's a big old big city. Big old city, but it's a city and it's big. And it's a pretty big city. However, what if I just took the exact same layout and made it a Halo 2 map? New Mombasa version of that, Sea Boots. You got it. What? That would be so perfect. It's a great layout. It's already a great city. It would be so easy. Big city, but it's New Mombasa. It'd be H2 underscore big city. I actually unironically want to do that. And I feel like it would be pretty easy. To be honest, TBH even. I would clearly have to do some of my own stuff with it, but like, even still... Project that identifies as bread. Breaking real edges after dark. Guys, open edge. Open edge that person. <laughs> Need more H2A mods? You know, I will be going back to H2A, but in classic graphics, because I just think it looks nicer, you know? <laughs> Modern Gamer, thank you for the two dollar tip. Appreciate it. Release Ultimate Forge first, then we will talk. Yeah, well, that's the plan. That do be the plan. And I gotta grab some secret files really quickly. Top secret, and you can't know about it. Sorry to break the news to you. Alright. I can now show these classified documents. So, here's a... Uh, Here's how I'm going to do the, the forge list for vehicles right now, which is the main thing I need to do. It's going to be in this order. Pelican, Phantom, Spirit, Seraph, blah, 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 everything you see here. I'm just going to add all these to the forge menu. And then I'm going to leave it like that for a little bit. I'm not going to add the shitty spawn point vehicles yet. Keyword yet. Like the question for this stream, is it possible to put the ODST frigate in as a forge object? Um, and can you add the anti <laughs> anti-grav points or whatever as part of the actual model to hold the pods. Uh, I mean, I could add it. I don't know if it's done. I forgot to check if they'll... No, it is fully modeled in. Yeah, I could add it, um, but no, I cannot add anti-grav points as a part of the actual model. Can I? No, wait, yeah, I can, because it's not a vehicle. Yeah, it's easy. Easy peasy.
Um, yeah, no, I could totally do that. I'm going to focus right now on just getting everything on the forge list. I was worried before because I could not insert items onto the forge list and you had to rebuild it every single time. I don't have to worry about that anymore. I'm just going to fucking go for it, man. I don't care. Man, I am such a girl boss. Oh, I'm just, uh, like, you guys would not believe it. Alright, let's start throwing shit on here, man. Alright, display name, pelican. I'm gonna get a bunch of strings wrong and I have to go back. Bro, what the? This, this is not like a real folder. This is my desktop? Why is it on my desktop? Bruh. Okay, that's there. Alright, let's keep it going. So next up, I need the Phantom. <sighs> now, I'm going to take this. I'm going to copy that directory. Phantom test. Phantom test. Type Phantom. Maximum allowed 255. Add another one. Now we get the spirit. Um, I think the good one was tuning fork campaign. So I'm gonna use that one for now. Spirit. The next vehicle on the list is gonna be the Seraph. I don't really have like an exact way in which I added all these onto the I don't know, the list just made sense to me. So if you're sitting there like, why did he add stuff in this order? I don't know, it's just my intuition told me this is a good order. Boom. Add another one. Next one is Spectre. Probably should have put the Spectre closer to the top. But hey, that's the beauty of the new update. I can reorganize this stuff if I need to. Next up, after Spectre, we got the Shadow. Uh, did I label it as Creeper Shadow? Oh my god, Windows 11. Just let me fucking type. Halo 2 Anniversary Vista streaming now. Yeah, when is the anniversary of Halo 2 Vista? For real, for real. I need to re-download all the Jackrabbit tags, dude. I don't know. I have like three versions of the Jackrabbit in there. I don't know what the fuck is what because I was there for all of the Jackrabbit development to like showcase it a bunch of times. And now it's just this cursed fucking monstrosity. I'm just going to delete all of it, re-import the whole Jackrabbit from Nexus Mods. Tags, custom, JS, objects, vehicles, Kestrel. I think for now, oh, I should add multiple versions of the Kestrel onto this. Um, I'm just going to put one Kestrel for now and I can insert more later. Of course, the longsword, duh. Life pod. Uh, BFG, yeah. Uh, Lich. Oh, this is exciting. I'm really actually very happy that the Lich is going to be in the video game. I like the Lich. It do make me happy. Alright, Vulture. I'm going to have to do a bunch of new strings for all this stuff. Alright, so now we got the Warthog Police. Uh, police hog. Uh, 
I don't know what half of these strings are. It's going to bother me so much that I'm getting like every single stream wrong. Joe, thank you for the two. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Bruh, me don't know. Yeah, I definitely missed that one that time. You said you said a two dollar tip. Thank you for that, by the way. I appreciate it. You said I'm gonna remove all your food in your fridge and take the cats with me if you go back to Halo 2 unironically for a mod. Just make Mombasa streets again. You bought. Well, I could also just take all the work I did on that new Mombasa map that I have in Halo 2 and then just drag and drop it into Big City. Big Blaine. Yeah, you have lost me though. I I am gone for this now. It was a, it was a good run you had, but now I am just I'm data entry. I am data entry. Truck. What is Green's truck called? Is it civilian truck? Like, what did he? What the fuck did he? Oh, cargo truck. <laughs> truck. Okay, I no longer have a working vampire, so I'm just gonna not put that in right now. Oh, why is the Sparrowhawk so far down here on this list? That's cursed. <laughs> Well, I'll do with the $2 tip. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. The bland gray bar is no longer living up to its name. Hey, RJ, check stream chat for some vids of Ruby's Rebounds Halo 2 stuff. Oh, shit. Absolutely. Give me one second, and I will happily do so. Uh, Falcata. Um, hold on. Let me add Skaboodly stuff, and then Sparrowhawk. And then the Falcata. And there's only a couple more, but I'll grab those in a second. Okay, let me see this. I want to see some of that Ruby's Rebalanced. There is nothing here! The vids got blocked by the server? Huh? How'd that happen? Is it maybe people don't have permissions to post videos in stream chat? Let me see. Permissions, everyone. Let's do attach files and embed links allowed there. Ooh, that might not be a good, I good idea. Maybe not attach files, but embed links? Yeah. Better. Better. All right, let's start throwing some more stuff in here. Let's get the Albatross, fuck it. We'll get another vehicle. This one's gonna be the Condom. Yep, there it is. Get another one. Frijate. Hey. And then we got the Cumvet. I did not reference any of the actual vehicle strings, so I can confirm like none of these will work and like none of them will have actual names. Wow, actually more of these have their proper names than I expected. This looks pretty good actually. I like the way the menu's looking. I beg your pardon, Conan. What the fuck? Why are you guys talking about sex stuff? You're making it weird. Uh, 
Oh, that doesn't have multiplayer object properties. That does, though. Oh. I pinged you for a four second audio clip shit post. Oh. Well, bad news. You're going to have to understand the technical stuff. Or else. Or else what is still up for debate. Alright, Falcata needs multiplayer object properties. Or else I won't be able to hold it with my forge monitor. So, go here. I could chow. I set it to be. Uh, default spawn time 30 seconds to 60 seconds. And then the type is flying vehicle. And then I'm just going to do something to reset the scenario. Where is the Falcata giving me the Oh, now I can hold it. Let's go. Nice. Forgeable Falcata. Let's get it. I need to give this thing damage stays real soon. They're all set up for the most part. I just have to actually label them and mark them and then it should be fine. Yo, Gyarados with the $3. Thank you very much. Appreciate you. Today's stream is brought to you by Bing. Is that true? Let me... <laughs> let me Bing that. Right, what's this? I'm pinged. This can't be posted because it contains content blocked by the server. Huh? Oh, because you, you wrote Nitro, that's why, yeah, okay. Ooh. Yeah, that was, it's because, uh, <laughs> Nitro bots come into the server and spam the fuck out of things. I can assure you that all of these vehicles have proper destruction effects, and the Falcon has a working nose turret, just usable by a passenger. I didn't make any of this, of course, and it's all subject to change. The Falcon may very well not be a player-usable vehicle, even. That remains to be seen. Uh, you said all of it has been shown publicly, but you're just providing a way of showing it without scrubbing through RubyStream. Okay, let's see this. First of all, Heretic Gun Turret, which is really cool. These were not in Halo 2. These are a Halo CE piece of content, but seeing them in Halo 2 with a Heretic paint job, this looks really well done. Ooh. That's cool. I feel like that sound could use a little bit, like, a, if it was a little louder, that'd be more satisfying. But that it looks fucking awesome. What a good job. The, the Heretic paint job slaps. Actually slaps. It looks like it fits in perfectly. Ooh, Mongoose? Gun Goose. Oh, damn. Gun Goose goes pretty crazy. Apparently that's a work in progress version and it's been touched up since then. We'll have to see if it gets added to the maps I have. Yeah, I'll, I figure, I mean, this, this mod's years, maybe decades away from releasing, so. Wait, what? This one has laser sights. Hold up. What's going on here? Is this a, a grenade goose? Bruh. That's mad broken. Ain't no way they're putting a fucking grenade goose in. Oh, wait, this next one is fucking sick. Well, I am not seeing this. The Honor Guard Spear. I remember seeing this like briefly in the trailer or something, but... All that sound is good. 
It's like the flag sound or something. That's sick. Does it have an animation for charging? Oh, I love the little idle animation. That's so well done. The range on it's crazy, dude. That's so well done. That feels so natural as a weapon. I got too sleepy to stream. Now you get it. You get it, Green. You understand. Dude, that's so cool! Ah! What just happened? It disappeared. Is it gone? It's over. One more video of a falcon. Oh, I see it! Oh, this is gonna make me feel so bad about the falcon that I made. Because this one looks so much better. Oh, that's so sick. Those textures look amazing. Damn, that's clean. Uh, for the record, they copied me, okay? They they definitely copied me. They thought my falcon looked really cool, and I did it first, and um, erm, um, they copied me. Oh my god, this is gonna be so good. I, I do hope that Ruby... And the team consider releasing these tags one day, because these look sick as fuck. That's so cool, man. Why is that so cool? I'm over here just making a forge mod like some kind of fucking nerd. Which I am, to be fair. I'm a huge nerd. It's like screen and skabooly level of modding, modding for Halo 2. I agree. Uh, yeah. At Doobie. So you ready to play Cursed Reach? Bro, get off my nuts. Go make Halo 2 anniversary or something, man. I'm making this mod work. We might even be able to do a play test. Maybe, I don't know. I gotta fix these these strings. Fine, I will. Okay, sick actually, that's pretty dope. Okay, look at that for a sec while I... I have to find my forge string list. I have no clue where the hell they are. And what I meant to say is I found them actually, just now. That was really easy. You know, I'm gonna go forge object by forge object to see which ones are incorrect. So the first one, Pelican. Is Pelican flyable? Spirit is Tuning Fork. That's the first one, I guess. Very cool. Uh, 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 uh. Pelican Spirit is Tuning Fork. Next up is the Kestrel, which doesn't have one, so I gotta add one. All right, so then we have the Lich, which I think also doesn't have one. Uh, Warthog Police, that does have one, I just don't know what the hell I called it. Um, mm, 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 it's Police Hog and Civ Hog, okay, okay. Um, hold on. Let me. I'll read that in one second uh, before I forget. Police hog and civ hog. Gyarados boss. Thank you very much for the three. Appreciate it. Please add in the plane. <laughs> also, wait, Gyarados boss. No, I read that one. I actually read your other super chat. I remember. I remember. <laughs> I can totally remember things. Do I not have a sparrow hawk name? I. What did I call the sparrow hog? Is it just hawk? So confused. It is just hawk. Why did I? What is wrong with me? Uh, and Falcata needs one as well. And then uh, I gotta run the thing. Hold on. Oh, I didn't even bring up any of my project folders today. I, I'm a fucking. I'm an idiot for that. This data, no. 
Dude, I'm so like so heavily considering just streaming like until I drop right now. The the urges to go and like smoke after I've already quit is so painful right now. Tool strings UI slash sandbox UI. UI, Halo X, all nighter stream. We will see. Did that auto update? It didn't auto update. Oh wait, I need. Blah, blah, blah. Forgot Uber chassis, which should I think is just called car. I should also update that one. Car is car. No, car is going to become Uber chassis, and then I'm going to rename. Wherever that is. Car. Very good. Now let's see all vehicles on the list are labeled. Look at that. We got them all. Can we spawn a Kestrel? Oh yeah we can. Can we spawn a Vulture? We sure can. Can we spawn an Uber chassis? We still can. And the ODST drop pod, there it is. The new one even. Falcata, yup. Condor, there it is too. Looking good. I don't know why it's things are bugged out, but who cares? The frigate? Oh god, it worked. It did work. Long stream for ejected is just until he gets hungry and ends stream. Well, I'm gonna have to stream. Wait, what time is it? It's eight. I might. This stream will have to end it by like eight. Um, I can stream for two more hours, easy. I can make this a three-hour stream, easy. I maybe can go longer. I just need to go grocery shopping before Heb closes. Corvette still work? Corvette still works. That is way too big of a bounding radius. There's no way it needs to be that big. There's literally no way. Fuck. Not to distract you from my work, I'm super excited about this stuff. Uh, I checked in there, there's a couple of secret things I cannot show. What I can show, however, if you're interested, is a new, our new dry reload animations. Oh, that's dope. Yeah, those are always just duplicates. Yeah, give me one second. I would love to see it. I'm going to very, very quickly use the restroom, and then I'll check it out if you want to post them. I'm home. Honey, I'm home. What the fuck was I doing again? I have no idea. It's something to do with Forge, probably. You lost viewers? Yeah. Now I'm gonna game them all back just because you said that. Out of spite for you being a bitch. You were adding damage stage to the Falcata. Oh god, no, not yet. Soon though. 
Very soon. Oh, wait, do I have the Falcon on the Forge list? Oh, that's another vehicle I forgot to add, isn't it? I did forget to add the Falcon. Okay, where should I add that on the list? Maybe like... Below the Kestrel. Add in the plane. Mm. Oh my god! Doesn't make any sense, it doesn't make any sense, it doesn't make any sense, it doesn't make any sense! Alright, Falcon's on the list now. Um, what other vehicles am I missing? I feel like I've got to be missing another one. Oh, I don't have the drone, the H2, or the, the Reach drone, the, 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 Wombat. That's another one I'm missing. Throw that on there. Right below the Falcon. Wombat. Wombat. Are there any other vehicles I'm thinking of, like, that I'm missing here? There is. There's a very important one. Much better. Oh. Wait. Not better yet. I have to run the command. Yo, Joe, thank you for the two. Appreciate it. Wedge Infinite, not an Ultimate Forge? Sad. Yeah. Well, look at this. This is, however, an Ultimate Forge for you. Project is just doing an extended April Fools. He's not releasing this mod ever. No. Don't tell them the fucking secret. Jesus Christ. The bug text is all over the screen. Yeah, but I'm too lazy to turn it off, so it'll stay. Okay, there's that. Everything's on the forge list that I want for the vehicles. Also, look how long this forge list is for vehicles now. It's crazy. I, I don't know how many are on here, but it's got to be like 35, 40 vehicles. This is after removing a bunch of stuff, too. Okay, it's actually not that bad. Also, though, there's no scarabs or anything on this list yet. These are all just unique vehicles. Including the Falcata! Can you make categories? No, no, unfortunately not. Not that I'm aware of, anyway. I haven't messed with menus too much, but I'm fairly certain I cannot. I think most of the menu functions are hard-coded. And, uh, I would have to ask people to download a bunch of extra shit in order to use the mod with menus. Now, however, after I did all that, it's about time that I add all the new weapons in. Alright, what are the new weapons that I have not added in here? So far, it's the ODST weapons, then we have scarab guns of both kinds. 
The glassing gun, I guess I already added in here at some point. I have no idea when. Oh, no, that's the other glassing gun. The shittier one. Yeah, I'm definitely going to add in the, um, the new one. Target laser. Sniper rifle silenced, shotgun tactical, Tartarus hammer. Are there any other new ones? Oh, the stanchion. Of course I gotta add the stanchion. I feel like I've definitely added more weapons. I just can't think of them. You can launch your guardian gun. I'm not gonna add a guardian gun. I do need to add C4 to the equipment. Did you ever finish Goku? Yeah, check my Twitter. So we'll fucking find out. Melee, the rat hammer, very important. The katana, not even set up. Um, memes, there's the balls weapon. Not gonna add that. Pistols, anything here? No, no new pistols. That's the scarab gun, the old one. Blah, 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 blah. Boring, boring. Boring, boring, boring. And that's fine. Okay. It's fine by me. Scenery palette sucks big ass. It's for like for real. This is like one of the worst scenery palettes of all time. Crate space. This is just the shitty part of the sandbox palette. I could literally grab the foundry stuff and it would be way better. Why did I grab the sandbox scenery palette? The only thing that it has that's cool is like the golf stuff and the fucking sandbox lights, which are pretty mid. What is your roommate's Twitch or YouTube channel? Novaru. N-O-V-A-R-U-U -U on Twitch. She's the number one hot tub streamer right now. Yeah, I think I'm going to remove most of it. Like, there's a, these people have always found ways to use all of these, but I really strongly believe there are far better forged pieces for the scenery palette than this shit. And then the teleporter's palette, which basically just became scenery, or not scenery, um, building objects. Oh, I gotta rename these now, though. Oh, boy. Hold on. Let me go through all my shit. Okay, yeah, here. So this is... This is what I wanted to name everything. That's so many forge objects, man. God damn. I guess the good news is I don't have the rocks of all kinds. Made outfit in a hot tub stream one. Hopefully never. God, hopefully never. All right, well, I'm going to add all of these. Grass, ground, small. Because what the name of it right now when I spawn in these objects is... What even is it? If I go to here, it's just ground, cliff, and hill. It's kind of messy looking.
And here, it's going to be a lot less messy looking. All right, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. It's happening. Yo, Gyarados boss, thank you for the three. Appreciate it. Thank you very much. You said, made outfit in a hot tub stream when? No, just no. I'm not going to do that. I will. You, you would have to pay me a, a, a disgusting amount of money to do that. I would give up all my shame. People would be like, wow. Our guy shows out. What a whore. Because I wouldn't do it because I love it. I've been doing it because you paid me a shit ton of money to do it. Alexander, thank you for the two! Appreciate it. Version 2 of Halo 3 Mythic Overhaul is out now. To be honest, I don't really keep up uh, too much with other people's mods. Except for a select few, so I'm not sure what... I'm not sure what's different there. The rebalance mod shilling is out of control. Listen. Listen, Ruby's rebalance, even you have to admit, is just so far beyond any other rebalance mod out there. Joe, thank you for that too. When is the Goku outfit and wig stream? Today. Yeah, it's today. Alright, let's start doing strings. I can't do this any longer. I have up here all these shitty old names. Not even gonna touch them. Not even gonna touch them. So we're gonna start with a new list of all these grass, ground, small. GRS, ground, small. GRS, ground, small equals GRS, ground, small. GRS, ground, M equals GRS ground M. GRS ground L equals GRS ground L. Boom, that was pretty easy, right? And I'll do the same thing with the cliff real quick. GRS cliff S. GRS cliff M GRS Cliff L Alright, that's pretty straightforward. Nothing too crazy there. And then I need to do the rocks. Small, medium, large. Yeah, fuck it. That's fine. I don't think anyone's ever used the extra large, so that works. GRS, rock, small. Yo, Demon, thank you very much for the five, man. Appreciate it. Thank you very much. You said, uh, my suggestion, sort them by types, aka all the cliffs, then all the ground pieces, all in the same order. Mm, yeah, but the problem with, I actually disagree. Because you're going to be working in one biome at a time, so like what help would it be to have another biome's cliffs when you're clearly just building in one biome? You know what I mean? Like it wouldn't really add any level of convenience because... Chances are you're only ever really going to be building one biome at a time. All right, this should. Be it, boom, look at that. All right, so then I run the command to get the strings in. And now I can add them onto the forge list properly, which means I will want to get rid of all of ground S, cliff S, hill S, blah, 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 all the way to pine tree. The dead trees are pretty good to have, I will admit. But I'm, I'm going to get rid of, like, I think some shrubs. Nobody really used the shrubs. The tree trunk was useful. I'll keep that. Um, and we had cliff, medium, and large all the way down here for some reason. And then ground, medium, and large all the way down here. Like, this forge menu was out of control bad. So I'm going to fix all that. 
We hit limits? Did we? Joe, thank you for the two! Appreciate it. Actual dono goal. Goku outfit stream. No wig. That would go hard. I'm actually so down with that. I want to set up stream elements soon and switch my entire stream over to stream elements instead of stream labs. Because you can have AI voice plugins. Where like you guys can donate the tips. And instead of me reading it off, you can have like an AI voice read it off on the stream. And you can like choose the AI voice and like add sound effects and stuff. It's hilarious. Heard you're removing things that got worried? No. I'm just removing what is very clearly old, outdated, and un unnecessary. So I'm going to delete all pine tree stuff real quick. Um, except for the dead trees. I'm not, I'm not going to touch the dead trees yet because I don't really know what I want to do with those yet. So I'll leave those. Then sapling, I am going to remove that for now. I still have a backup of the entire original Ultimate Forge list, so I'm not going to touch that. Rock, cliff, large, and huge are just out of the way for some reason. The flats are also there. Now I can completely reorganize this. It's going to look so much better. Holy shit, it's going to look way better. Alright, so let me just throw this here. Alright. We'll insert... And we'll just start going through this entire thing like this. Boom. We want the ground small. Objects. Levels. Multi. Alpine sandbox. Forge. This will be cliff. Medium. We'll duplicate that. So it to be... Oh no, wait. If I duplicate it, it goes all the way to the bottom, actually. Uh, I lied. So we'll insert every single one. That'll be cliff large. Um, and then I want to insert here again. I gotta be really careful with this because if I mess up the order, it's like not forgiving. It's a lot more than it used to be. As a developer, I could make the AI voice thing. I'm just too ADH distracted to do it. That is a very random thing to say, but I think it would be cool. Problem is people have already beat you to it. There's a ton of those programs out there. GRS cliff small. Wait. Are those the cliffs when they were supposed to be the grounds? Oh, those were cliffs. I am actually dumb for that. Hold on. Flat, medium. Flat, large. ADH distracted. That's how you say it? Uh, actually, I said it the right way, and you said it the wrong way, and you just gaslit yourself into thinking you've been saying it right this whole time, but actually, I had the correct pronunciation, I'll have you know. Erm. Slay. Alright, Cliff Large. Then finally... Not finally, there's still more to do. Weasel, it's okay. What? <clears throat> God bless. Dark Seal, thank you for the five. Appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. Okay, but hear me out. AI is going to take your dono reading job, so you can't read this wonderful dono. I am the real RJ, and I will not mod H2A exclusively now. Okay. You, you make a valid point there. It was a very solid point. Yo, Joe with the two as well. Thank you. Can uh, you get the AI voice as a Dragon Ball Z narrator? I'm pretty sure it uses this website called like Ducky Duck Labs Duck uh, something that has that voice. So yeah, it's the same one that Dragon Ball AI uses. All right, now we gotta get the boulders or rocks. I forgot what I called them to be honest. The rocks. It was a boulder. There it is. Boulder small. Real talk, do I even need multiple sizes of these rocks? Like, I feel like only one size really ever gets used, and it's like medium. Alright, 
I told someone about my ADHD diagnosis and they proceeded to heavily try to pressure me into getting on meds. He says I have to so I can be a functional member of society, but honestly, I don't know. What do you think, Sir Streamer, whom I look up to? Um, well, first of all, never let anyone pressure you into taking any kind of medication unless it's clearly like you need it, like it's causing impact on everyone in your life around you. And I think the only time you really should be on medication is when... Uh, I'm not a doctor, so obviously, you know, this doesn't count for jack shit, but... The less medications you are on, the better. Um, I have friends who can be on many medications. Some of them are literally just there to counteract other medications, and it just becomes this whole nightmarish thing, and I just like... Damn. I hope... for everyone to not be, have to do that. Um, but anyway, yeah. If it's affecting your life, take the medication. If it's not affecting your life and you're doing okay, do not take the medication. It's completely your decision. I personally feel like the right move is to take it if you need it. And if you're doing okay without it, then you should definitely not take it. I took so many meds it would make me vomit. Yeah, like that's that's going to end up just being like so excessive and it's like do you really need all of it? And sometimes you do, like, obviously. Sometimes you really do need all that shit, which, in which case, fucking take it. But, like, if you don't necessarily need to, and your life is okay without it, I would say try not to. But, like I said, I'm not a doctor. I had considered taking Adderall for a time, because I was like, well, I seriously, like, have debilitating ADHD that actually affects my life. Um, however, I um, saw somebody who was on Adderall who also had ADHD and I witnessed them literally like fucking zombified. <laughs> And I was like, damn, there is no way I want that to be me. I like my personality when I'm just ADHD'd out of my fucking mind. I'm so okay with that. I guess you were distracted and I can't focus on anything. Anything? Yeah, me too. Trust me. I get it. I get it. Onikai, thank you for the $20 tip. I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. Honestly, I think you should keep the AA Wraith and delete the Disabled Hog and add the base Halo 3 Banshee. Uh... I did those things. Do you mean the vanilla? Do you mean the vanilla uh, AA Wraith instead of replacing it with my Ultimate Forge one? Oh, look at that. Grass grown, small, medium, large. Cliff, small, medium, large. Rock, small, medium, large. Tree, small, medium, large. Oh my god, and then the dead trees are in the order of large, medium, small. I'm gonna shit myself. Yeah. Maybe you have a point, but actually the AA Wraith is more balanced. I, well, maybe not actually. Do we have flat tiles? Not yet, but the good news is I can start adding stuff to the forge list and insert stuff in the middle now, which is something I couldn't do. When I first released Ultimate Forge, I could not insert things into the middle of the forge list. The mod tools did not support it, so if I wanted to insert something, I had to redo the entire list. Now I can do that, so now I can make flat tiles and insert them in here. It's pretty cool. Vanilla AA Wraith is kind of useless, though. Vanilla AA Wraith is overpowered at close range and completely useless on long range. My AA Wraith is OP at all ranges. Kind of a big deal. A little bit of an innovation I did there. Chocolate? Yeah, it's the only food I have right now. I need to go grocery shopping. Tree trunk and shrub. Let's get rid of shrub. I don't want it. Goodbye, salmon berry. You will not be missed. Nobody cared about it. Your AA Wraith is actually useful. True. It's very fun. Um, I don't know, though. There's another part of me that's like Vanilla Plus. Kind of want that classic AA Wraith in there. The one that you're familiar with from the Covenant or um, the Storm when you hijack it. Not shrub. Yeah, get, get the fuck out of that shrub. Fuck the shrub. From uh, personal experience, Adderall is bizarre. Felt like nothingness, never hungry. It was very underweight. It was called zombie-like by others. Yeah, it's it's weird. 
it like slows your brain down. It's strange. But I mean, hey, for some people it works. Um, but I'm of the opinion, and I'm not a doctor, but from my personal just life experience, Adderall really seems like a band-aid fix. So if I go on meds, I'll lose weight. No, if you go on meds, you will stop eating and your body will begin to slowly devour itself. But yes, if you want to say you'll lose weight if you go on meds, probably, most likely even. Subtractoral? What is... That's what losing weight is? I mean... Multiplayer? What are you saying? Are you high? <laughs> what are you talking? What? <laughs> what the fuck is happening? We got boulders, then we got pine trees, then we got dead trees. The fact that dead tree large, oh, the fact that it's right. Oh, it's fine. I'm gonna delete it though, and the medium one, and then we're gonna go here and we're gonna insert dead tree medium. We're gonna put it right here. Dead tree medium. Yep, yep. There it is. And then we're gonna go down one and insert another one. And this one's gonna be dead tree large. And we're gonna put that on the list right there. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. That's crazy. That's crazy. Hmm. I don't drink though. Yeah, I feel like Green would actually just be like completely super chilled out when he gets drunk. He seems like the type that like he drinks and he's like, yeah, man, I'm just chilling. So we're gonna go fucking watch TV or something, man. Anyway, like, what the fuck? That's insane. How does he do that? All right, what else am I missing here? Can I? I guess I can just try adding more biome shit. Like, it's probably fine. Is there anything I don't need on this list? Well, let me do FF base round and FF base strut. I want to move these. No, I'll reorganize that in a bit. I don't want to lose track of everything yet. Alright, so under long hallway, I'm gonna do a little insert here. I need to I need to add in some more of these forge object names. Make a new document. I'm gonna replace I'm just gonna magic this shit up real quick. Work smarter, not harder. Find GRS. Match case, replace with. What should the second biome be? Actually, yeah. What's the kind of what's the biome order? Grass, sand, or no desert, uh, snow, savanna. What order should it be on the list? Maybe like grass, snow, no grass, desert. Snow, savanna, grass, desert, savanna, snow. I think grass, desert, savanna, snow sounds the best. So replace GRS with DES, replace all, and then replace capital GRS with capital DES, replace all. Wow, I did it. That was so hard. Yay, all the strings exist. Hooray, hooray. Now I can do the exact same thing for the other stuff. Find and replace DES with SAV. Find and replace capital DES with capital SAV. Wow. Unbelievable how does he do it. We'll go with the first snow. Replace all. Capital SAV with capital SNW. Replace all. And then we're done. I have all the strings done for all the new forge objects. There's some studies that say a smaller amount of metformin will make you live longer. I don't know what that is. 
Oh, Adderall, which is ironic. Subtractorall makes sense, yeah. I get it. When's the real nodding gonna start? Not seeing enough reach plus in here. Get out! Get out of here! We don't we don't want you here. I don't like that. You said that. You sicken me. You sicken me. I'm starting to think this section should be just giant forge objects and then stuff like spawners and effects and things should go into the scenery palette. I don't know, whatever. I'm just gonna keep adding this stuff in here anyway. All right, next up we have, let's do the entire thing we just did. Oh, with desert. Desert ground S. Oh boy. If this isn't content, I don't know what is. Although I will admit it'll be very satisfying to have all of this like in, you know what I mean? I'm getting pretty quick with it, too. Now we'll do the cliffs. Irony of on, moving on to the cliffs. Easy peasy. Do cliff medium desert. Cliff Large Desert. Cliff Huge Desert. And then after the cliffs, we got the rocks. I actually, fun fact, do not have multiple sized rocks for all these biomes. So I'm just going to insert one rock for now. Which will be the medium one. Uh, I don't know what the hell I called it, though. Or where I put it, for that matter. Where... Where is this? Older... What the fuck? What did I call it? Oh, Savannah Rock? Oh, I don't even have a desert rock, actually. I just realized I only have a savanna one and a, uh, yeah, I was trying to need to make desert rocks and desert trees. I completely forgot about that. That's okay. I'll get those in soon enough. Well, with no desert rocks or desert trees, I guess I could at least add their, like, places in the forge menu. Because I will be adding them eventually. As a geologist, I gotta ask, what are your halo rocks based on? Granite, schist... Scheist? I don't, uh, I think it's Scheist. Um, you see, they're actually based on a, a composite, <clears throat> mostly composed of andesite. That's why they're so gray. I'm just not going to put anything in there. I was just using Minecraft rocks because that's all he knows. Shut up! Don't expose me! You're being such a bitch right now. Can't take this guy anywhere, man. Alright, let's see. I may not have a massive list of actual desert pieces to spawn, but 
Oh, they just don't show up because they don't have anything in there. But yeah, look at this. Desert cliff, small. I fucking crashed! Let's just put a Savannah Rock small in there for now. A Savannah Rock medium. I'll just copy and paste that for all these. My placeholder. We gotta boot it back up. Uh, neutronium and carbonite are rejected shotguns, composite rock types. Types, types. It's a Rage 4. Game multiplayer sandbox game start. Bubbles multi. Alpine sandbox. Alpine sandbox. Do have any metal songs they can recommend? I was so tired of listening to the same shit. I unlocked a new taste in metal music. What kind of metal music? Is your roommate Novaru? Yeah. That do be her. What makes you ask James Shaw? <sighs> I don't know. Do you listen to like, like what kind of metal are we talking? Is this like rock? Like fucking... Is... Because metal is like a very broad genre. I just didn't realize until recently. Yeah, no, that's her. When I looked at my bank account, at all the Twitch subs I gave, did you gift her a shit ton of Twitch subs? <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Or are you? I don't know if you guys saw this. This is really important. Please be sure to uh, please be sure to watch this. Very important. Hey! <laughs> uh... We're in. We made it. All right, let's see if I still crash. Okay, I can spawn from there. Spawn that. Still spawn trees, we're still good. These are still good. Desert ground is good. Desert cliffs are good. Desert rocks, also good. These are savanna rocks, but you know, it's placeholders. This is a long fucking list of stuff to spawn, man. All these biomes really add up. Lamb of God's a good one. Megadeth's pretty good. Five Finger Death Punch. Why is the origin all the way down? Oh, it's not. Creed, yeah, Creed's another good one. Time to add more to the list. I'm just gonna speed run through this shit. I can't.
Okay, there we go. Savannah rocks small. Now we're moving on to the actual proper Savannah rock stuff. Then, I think I do have all tr all three trees in for the savannah, so that's good at least. Same goes for the snow biome. It's just the desert biome that's missing out. Although, technically, the three new biomes are missing out on rocks. Yo, Rusted Wrench, thank you for the seven months, dude. At Covenant tier, I really appreciate that. Thank you so much. Today's my birthday. Hey, happy birthday. I hope you're not too much older than you were before, but just enough. Preferably one year older than you were on your last birthday. I am happy you're streaming. Thank you. Well, thank you for being here. I hope you have a wonderful birthday. Very kind of you. Boom, just like that, the savanna biome. It's fucking done. Easy. Simple. So easy. Wait, did I see that JS upload is cubby drop pod and modding shop? No, what? I did not know that. 24 minutes ago? Okay, who the fuck is on my Discord server is Yikes, it's Sykes. And why do they respond to every single post ever with the Albanian flag? Always and forever. I swear to God, it's like I'm losing my mind. Sidetrack inbound, you know what you have to do? I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. I know. <laughs> There's so many things I want to do. I'm going to like I fucking violently explode. I don't have enough time in the day because now I want to I, when I get off stream, I'm going to be like, man, I should probably edit a video or I could remake Big City in Halo 2 in New Mombasa for the best fucking map ever. And I'm just going to I'm going to cry, man. I'm going to cry myself to sleep. I'm gonna be like a little baby. I can't do this. I can't. I have too many things I want to do. There is all the time. There is not all the time, unfortunately. For example, I need to make videos or else I will die. I will become extremely poor and then die. Fun fact, you can uh, shorten snow cliff to sniff. Just thought you all should know that. Oh, why do you piss and shit at the same time? Prove it. Piss and shit right now.
Okay. Wow, both of you are like, fine, I'm gonna do it in your toilet, in your pants. Like, bitch, you don't know where I live. Back up. What are you saying? You're, you sound insane. Schizophrenia. Which is not even close to the same thing as insanity, but you, you know what I mean. You don't know what you're talking about is my point. I did it. I fucking did it. It's over. Away we go. Watching the stream from the air event. Ah! I did see a face in there, actually. There was... There was actually somebody in there. Game... Oh my god. Game start to... On the books. Got any cheese sticks in your fridge? I'm about to check out. You know what? That's what I'm going to do tonight. When I go grocery shopping, I'm going to buy a bunch of cheese sticks. I hunger. I hunger. You know you live in Atlantis? Yeah. But it's the Atlantis from Stargate Atlantis. The best one. Oh, I want cheese sticks so bad! Ugh! Stargate Atlantis? Oh, yeah. I should make a Stargate mod one day in Halo. That would be fun. It would be really fun. <sighs> Baby Bell, if they got it. No, I usually actually get cheese heads. Baby Bell's like the little wax wrapped cheese, the expensive ones. Air fried cheese sticks are pretty pog sham, but I have never tried that, but it does sound kind of interesting. You know what I really want to do though? Is I want to take those cheese head cheese sticks, unwrap them, take a bunch of the purple uh, Doritos and crush them into a fine powder, wrap those in there, and then fry those cheese sticks for the most fire like mozzarella sticks of all time. God, that sounds so good. You like cheese sticks in your mouth? I love it. I fucking love it! All Mott sticks are fire if you leave them in long enough. Do you say Mott's sticks or Moz sticks when you shorten it? Honest question. I'm very curious to know. Bro, I crashed?! Oh, I must have over 255, don't I? Can I even load the scenario now? Or do I have over 255 objects? Add and make some of the Tari ships to your Reach Space Conquest map. Yeah, I should add um, the Daedalus. I want to add the Daedalus. That'd be dope. Daedalus kind of reminds me of some of the Halo 3 ships. Like a, if the Halo 3 frigate just had a different shape. Indeed. Okay, Teal, calm down. Calm down. Let's see if I'm crashing the map with too many forge objects. Let's see. Did I hit the limit? Oh boy. Thoughts on the new Kong movie? I'll have you know it was a Kong and Godzilla movie, and it was pretty fire. I enjoyed it. It was another turn your brain off, dumb fun movie, just like the first Godzilla Kong movie, and uh, I really enjoyed it. All the critics bashed it, and they were like, this movie freaking sucks, because they missed the point of it. All the critics were trying to go in there and be like, uh, what's the story like? Tell me about the characters. What deep and artistic motivations went into the thoughts of this movie? 
And so all the critics were like, it's terrible. There's nothing to see here. It's just a big CGI spectacle. And then everyone who bought tickets to see the movie was just like, yeah, that we fucking know, dude. It was awesome. And I was one of those people. Like, literally, look at this. Look at the, the fucking crazy difference between the critic review of this movie at 54%. Versus the audience score at 92%, dude. That's wild. The audience knew what the fuck they were signing up for when they went to watch this movie. And they loved it. It's awesome. And the critics are all just, mm, I don't think this really has much besides what everybody wanted from it in the first place. Nobody goes to fucking Godzilla vs. Kong and is like, yeah, man, I really want a deep story that's really interesting. No. We had Godzilla minus one for a deep and powerful, inspiring story. You see Godzilla vs. Kong, you know what the fuck you're signing up for. Kong has a goddamn power glove on. Godzilla got a fucking makeover. He shoots pink lasers now. It's not that deep. The audience knows. They're smart. They know. Alright, I, I do have bad news, guys. I actually, I actually do have bad news. I did go over the limit. I have, in fact, gone over the limit. The map is now crashing. So, temporarily, I'm going to remove some rocks. That should fix it. Let's see if that fixed it. I'm not sure how far over the limit I went, so we'll see. It's the highest grossing film in 2024 right now? Hell yeah. And you know why I think? I think every person just loves Godzilla and loves Kong. What is not to like about them? Like, for real. What is there to not like? They're amazing. Isn't the Godzilla with the pink spikes a female? No, no. There's another monster in the movie that's kind of Godzilla-like that's a female. We gotta go watch the movie to find out what I'm talking about. Gotta freaking go. <laughs> Joe with a $2 tip! Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Wow, critics having a bad taste? We totally didn't know that. Insert Halo TV show. Ah, oh, fair point. Fair point. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. At this point, good critic reviews could now be a bad sign with how dog shit of taste they have. It reminds me of uh, what the Wall Street Bets community does. Anytime Jim Cramer says anything about any company or stock, they just immediately assume the opposite of it because his takes are so fucking trash and he's always wrong. I want Hollow Earth by Alante. I was talking about this with some Godzilla friends. I really want to see Space Godzilla, Biolante, Destroya, Gigan. I want to see them in a Monsterverse movie really badly. I download every Godzilla movie and watch them. You don't even have to download them. You can probably just stream them on like any site ever. Yar. Okay, I'm still over the limit, unfortunately. It's time for me to find some actually useless things to delete. Could just redo the scenery palette. Most of this stuff is just garbage that nobody ever uses anyway. Like... Things like the wooden bridges and stuff would be so much better off if I just grabbed, like, the Foundry Forge. The Foundry Forge. Yeah, you know what I'll do? I'm gonna try something a little bit crazy. Why are YouTube thumbnails 1280 by 720 and not 1920 by 1080? I mean, they can be 1920 by 1080, but my question to you is, why would you need a thumbnail that's, like, this big on your screen to be 1080p? 
Seems a little bit excessive. That's like adding a 4K texture into a Halo mod. Why would you do that? Because you just do? No, because you're just silly. You're being real silly. Stop that. Quit being so dang silly. All right, we're going to open up foundry dot scenario. Don't have any paid streaming services, but I can easily download any Blu-ray rips or anything. Hey, me too. That's the right way to do it. Support the things you want to support and don't let this fucking new era of disgusting over the top streaming services turning into different cable TV channels all over again, all wanting and fighting for a piece of the pie in a fucking repeat of history to suck all your money away. Don't subscribe to any streaming service. That's the only winning move. Unless, unless you go on a lot of dates with girls, in which case you do need a Netflix subscription for sure. That way you can easily put it on the background in any situation. But other than that, useless garbage. Oh, gee, just YouTube for free? Yeah, but... YouTube's pretty hit or miss, you know? It's like, oh, what if she doesn't like the video that you put on? Whereas with Netflix, you can just put on a good show. You can just put on The Office, you know what I mean? I was tempted by Shogun to get Hulu. I have heard Shogun's really good. That's the thing, if there's a show that's actually really good, you should definitely go support the service. I just, I just hate all corporations ever, all the time, forever. Fuck all these corporations. I was told by a wise man once, said steal from all corporations. Now I'm not saying you should do this. In fact, I think this is very evil and I totally would never do it myself. But anyway, on a side note, he said steal from big corporations. Take everything from them because they will do that from you when you don't even know about it. You don't even realize they're stealing from you, so you should steal back from them. That's what he said. Am I saying you should do that? Of course not. Duh. No way. Absolutely not. Hell freaking no, dude. Unless you want to. I'm, I'm not your dad. Okay, I need my teleporters in here. And... ODST pod clamp. How many... How many are in here? I need a very small scenery palette that has the teleporters in it. Dark Sea Links for the two. Appreciate it. Green streaming the superior game H2A Sosia. Wow, bye. I won't miss you with a fucking message like that. Get the fuck out of here, Darksteel. Don't come back. I don't even want you here. Leave it a message like that. Disrespectful looking ass. Maybe I just nuke the scenery palette for now. Yeah, I can do better. If the scroll bar goes to about where the add button is there, and I look at... Look at this one. And go to the scenery palette, the scroll bar goes... What the fuck is the difference that I'm looking at here? Goes down. Yeah, this one goes well beyond that. Yeah, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna grab the scenery palette from uh, Forge or a uh, fucking Foundry here. And the only things that I actually need to include here is the ODST pod clamp teleporters, and maybe the pickle. Screenshotting, three, two, one, screenshot noise. 
Um, and then I'm just gonna swap out the scenery palette for that one. Vibrant scenery palette, vibrant scenery palette. Fence wall, fence, stairs, rust wall, rust wall, rust corner, bridge, dumpster, warehouse door, forklift. No forklift. Truck cab, large, no. Crate packing giant, sure. Wire spool, maybe. Fence sign red, no. Fence sign blue, no. Warehouse window. Warehouse window. I think I know what that is, and no. Fusion coil, sure. Barrel rusty, no. We don't need small objects like that. Jersey barrier. Okay. Short? No. Pallet? No. Sawhorse? No. Street cone? No. Propane tank? No. Covenant sword holder? Yeah. Grab lift permanent? Sure. Man cannon? Yeah. Large shield door? Yes. Small shield door? No. Soccer ball? Yeah. Well, yeah. Container long? Yes. Fish tote? What the fuck is a fish tote? Fish cans pallet? No. Get out of here. Water barrels? Nope. Space crate? No. Generator? No. Server space camp? Get out of here. Door blocker? Small, medium, and large? No. No. And no. Cart electric? A waste. Dinghy? Absolutely not. Golf cup? Oh, hell yeah. Sandbox lights? Sure. Egg shield? No. Ghost town scaffold? No. Ghost town bridge? All ghost town stuff, in fact. I'm just not allowing it. Um... Then we have ramp. Covenant ramp. I actually like the covenant ramp. It's pretty cool. Nova chill out. Mm. Why does it use chill out ones for these? No. I'll swap this out for Nova. Just regular. And then pen and ink. Also regular. And then it should be good. I am technically missing the teleporters and stuff, but I don't want to cut anything else out yet. Yo, Dark Bolt, thanks for the five. Appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. I just found out I have the... What? Some virus on your computer? Should I be worried? Also, can Windows Defender remove it? Yeah, I have no idea. Good luck, buddy. You got this. I believe in you. I hope you know, by the way, if you ever type out a word that looks mildly sus as a Gotham, I will never read it. You will not win. Wait, it's actually a virus. What? I thought you were just giving me a Gotham. That's why I was so uncaring. Yeah, just don't, just use Windows Defender. Just get that shit. Let's see if I cleared out enough forge objects. It looks like I did. Let's go, baby. I did clear out enough of them. But we are like right at the limit right now. Like it is fucking close. So from now on, I basically don't have the luxury of adding fucking anything else. Which is a problem because I added a shit ton of AI. Which means I need to delete a lot of stuff. One of the things I'm going to delete is all the various different sizes of rock. I'm gonna get rid of some fucking rocks in here. Savannah rock. 
medium? Like, why do I... Oh, these are the trees, that's why. Grass, rock, large, medium, small. I'm going to get rid of rock large and rock small. And then I'm going to boot up the list and see how it looks now. What is the latest with this mod? I have finally finished doing all the annoying forge list shit. And I guess when I wasn't looking, someone on the MCC team had uh, just fixed the forge menu so that you can actually insert stuff into it. And it's not alphabetically listed anymore, which is incredible. I didn't know that happened. That must have happened like a year ago. Every man, woman, and child go to green stream. He's adding a pelican. Is he adding a pelican? You're probably lying. Green wouldn't do that. Green's not based enough for that. Adding the pelican? What? He is adding the pelican. Why is he doing that? So I'm sure they'll do it. I'm sure they'll like work on this game more and add like ray tracing 100%. Yeah, no, I agree. Setting Pepper's Epic Pelican. Oh my god, the donation thing, it actually worked. Oh, someone said $25. I mean, it's actually on screen too. Please tell me it was on screen. I actually heard it. Huge, enormous, large, enormously uh, huge, large, I, big. I, I tipped myself. It was on screen? Oh my god, I actually fixed it. I wonder... Okay. Well, I want to watch it when the pelican's actually there. I want to see that pelican. I want to see that shit. I want to see it! Oh shit, that's crazy, a 7.5 earthquake in Taiwan, holy shit, that just happened like an hour ago. That's insane. Hey, look, we got foundry items now. This is way better. This is so much better. I fucking love foundry items. Fence walls and stuff, hell yeah. I don't know what kind of useless garbage we had on this mod before, but now we got cool stuff. Where's that big... Oh, it was only on... Oh, I should have gone to not... I should have grabbed items from standoff because they have that cool like fence box that everybody used for like a ton of cool shit why do i have wire spool on here i'm so sure i deleted that got the large shield doors that's good container long bitch what i don't I'm deleting this. This is useless. Why is this here? We already have the double boxes. And double box opens! Fence boxes on Foundry 2. I wonder if I deleted it on accident then. I must have. Ramp Covenant. I feel like this has been used before. Somewhere. I'm not sure where, but I feel like it has been used.
Neat. Right, there's one thing I probably should do that I've been uh, looking over for way too long. Which is to get all of... Hang on, let me grab them. Alright, Rock Flat Large actually has a proper bounding radius. Okay, that's good. Rock Flat Huge also actually has a proper bounding radius. That's pretty cool. What about Rock Flat Medium? Oh, never mind. I guess they all have proper bounding radii. Huh. Guess I'm just dead wrong. And then as small as I could. What is ha Did I freeze? Am I crashing? Alright, we're back. I really wonder if somehow I've still overlooked some way in which I can get the fucking forge monitor to zoom out further because I swear to god it's, it's driving me crazy. It's driving me insane. Fencebox is on Foundry? Okay, I definitely gotta add that then. Okay, what? You know what? I'm gonna do it again. Once again, I am going into Halo 3's files, and I will attempt to see if I can increase the distance the Forge Monitor zooms out from objects. I, I don't know why I'm, I'm even trying, honestly. It never changes anything, but I have to try. Close the scenario for now. Also, on a side note, since I can now once again edit the menu, I think I'm going to remove the amount of things that you can spawn in. I'm going to do how many items are left. What if I just replace the value identifier? And it's gone! Look at that. Fancy, eh? Are you forging in tag test? Yeah. You can do game underscore multiplayer space sandbox and you can forge there. Also going to change this value to nothing too, and then my forge menu gets so much cleaner. Look at that. There's nothing there. It's just the items you want to spawn in. Amazing. Now, real question. Do you guys think it would be better to like reorganize the forge menu like this? Or do I just leave it vanilla? Do I just like leave the values in there and just like not mess with them. I, I'm actually curious if you think it would be better to like make it look a little cleaner, a little more modern, or just stick with the classic kind of messy forge list. I personally want to reorganize it. Vanilla, we were already so used to. I mean, I'm not, all I'm going to change is the visuals of it for the record. Remove. Just the extra clutter. Part of me says vanilla, but reorganize would be better. I mean, it, basically what I would do... I still have it open. Is this. I would make it look like this. Like, right now it's all capitalized, and it says, like, number that you can spawn in, and they, it just says 200... It's an entire column that just says 255, because I set the limit, and then everything costs zero dollars. So I just want to remove those, because they're co totally useless, and just make it look like this instead, where it's just a big square with the items in it. Because, I don't know. I don't know about you guys, but it's totally useless. The way that it has all that extra information on it. I know I just asked you guys for the opinion of what you think, but also I then just forced my hand upon you at the same time, which is fine. You know? Totally fine.
Load, please. Rejected's like, you know what? Forget the donos. Forget the suggestions. Forget the comments, super chats and polls. This is my Halo. I do what I want. You're goddamn right. You're goddamn right. I can do whatever the hell I want. There's a hard limit on forge objects and engine last I checked, so you at least need to have that viewable if budgets are all gone. Well, good news. That's not possible to view, so I don't even have to worry about it. Just don't put too much stuff down, idiot. The duh. Alright, I removed those things. They are no longer there. Now all we have is this thingy. Alright, now we have bounds on the forge menu. So if we look, all that's left is the name of stuff. But we need that to be on the left. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to take this text block. And I don't know if I dare to like delete the original text block. I'm just going to put this at zero. And hey, look at that. It looks pretty good already. There's no more extra info and all that crap there. It's just kind of on the left of the menu. It looks pretty clean. I like that. I feel like that's pretty that's pretty organized. But this area right here, this this area is just totally uses number, object, cost. Why does it say that? Who allowed it to be there? I don't know what that is called specifically, but we're going to find out where that's located. Because right now we're in the object list. I want... Uh, not sandbox budget, but sandbox categories. Either sandbox categories or sandbox create menu. Oh, that's what we're on. I think sandbox categories. Now, sandbox categories is the value that controls this top part right here, which I'm going to keep that as is. Which uses that animation. Not actually sure what it grabs that from, but whatever. Sandbox category, sandbox. These are all GUI. They're GUI skin definitions. I think sandbox object creation menu, GUI screen widget definition is what. Yeah, here we go. This is the parent. Okay, much better. I needed this all along. This is the actual screen widget that controls the sandbox objects menu. Good, good. Hmm. Might use that to my advantage. String IDs. Name, name, and value depending on the elements. Seven categories. Categories, spawners, teleporters, scenery, weapons. Interesting. That should actually allow me to override the annoying default string that gets written in when I bake a map. Let me try this. Um, write a new one. Category structure equals structure. Category teleporters. Oh, look at that. I forgot you can do colors with it. Yeah, I needed to make it like that. And then I already have scenery. The other one I changed was nature and gameplay. So I'm going to grab those. Put those, and this will become 
nature. Actually, no, it's not what I'm gonna call them. What do they look like in game? I forgot. Structure? Yeah, structure's good. Nature just just has a respawn point, actually. I don't know. I have no fucking clue what that's supposed to be, so it's not gonna be nature, that's for sure. I'm gonna call that one uh I'm just gonna call that gameplay for a minute. No, the other one's already called gameplay. Yeah, maybe I'll put the spawners in the gameplay and this one will become um AI. Yeah, we'll do that. I'll put AI in their own category and then gameplay. So now run that strings command. And I have a good feeling about this. I do, in fact, have a good feeling about this. Our category is GUI. Vehicles, equipment, scenery, teleporters gets replaced with structure. Spawners gets replaced with AI. And goals gets replaced with gameplay. Boom! Probably fine. Hopefully. I really hope so, actually. What else? What else? I guess... Ever seen the Garbage Pale Kids movie? Weirdest shit ever. That sounds very familiar, but I don't remember. I probably have seen it. Wasn't that like a book or something? Like a kid's book? Watch it high with your roommate to freak her out? I don't know if I want to. It might freak me out. Alright, we have text items here. This is what we want to mess with. Previous objects group, next objects groups, number, cost, and object. So number, cost, and object. I can just about guarantee is this number, cost, and object. So, I have a feeling this map will be able to test play in the Steam Workshop. Yes, maybe you're correct. I'm going to replace number and cost with nothing. They're just going to become no value identifier, number, and cost, gone. And then object, I'm going to change its value identifier. Actually, can I just type whatever I want in here? As does, as does. Does that work? It does. No, it doesn't. It's a missing string. Unless... I do that, which will totally make it work. I lied! Damn it. What if I just replace cost with nothing? No, it just was two exclamation marks. Damn it. Damn it! Or I could take these and then just move them completely off screen. Nobody will ever know. Just throwing that out there. Yeah, actually, where are these strings coming from? This is a part of this block here. Groups. Data sources. That's the categories data source. But all it does is give categories. It's a movie based on Garbage Pail Kids cards from 80s and 90s. That sounds kind of horrifying. I don't know. That name just like makes me uncomfortable. Like I have some kind of deep rooted trauma with Garbage Pail Kids that I just don't even know about. But my subconscious is just like, bro, don't do it. Do not do it. Please. Value identifier. I actually have no idea how this works at all. But I'm gonna try something here. Object. Don't know what that does. What does it do? Okay, that gives me a broken string. So it is looking for some kind of string. From where I'm not really sure. What if I try this? 
Could it use forge strings for this? Oh, that did work. Nice. Okay. So then menu UF could be in all caps ultimate forge. Then I can run that string command and then this becomes menu underscore UF lowercase of course. And then the other ones, the cost, I'm going to keep these here. But I'm not going to write justify on it and see what, whoa, and see what that does. That centers it. I'm going to not left justify this one. That also centers it. Sort of, no it doesn't. Um, hmm. I'm going to make the X bound in the tens of thousands and call it a day. It really is just that easy. No, wait, I meant to do negative tens of thousands. Oh no, it just went to zero. It overflowed. Whoops. Surely this will work instead. And it's gone. That easy, dude. That easy. That's so simple. Just, just simple, really. Okay, so we don't left justify that, which should center it does not center. Well, it kind of centers it, but just it centers it it centers it wrong. Let's see what this does. Left was 800, now it's 600. What? what the fuck? If I just subtract 100 from it, what does that place it at? Okay, so I just have to get a little bit specific here for some reason. I don't know what the anchor point is, but hey, that looks pretty good. A little bit off. What do you guys think? How does that forge menu look? Does that look fancy enough? Okay, I probably shouldn't have selected something after doing a bunch of changes to it. But hey, that did look pretty good. Not bad. Not too bad. That's a nice looking forge menu right there. I just wonder if it'll actually save. It might. It might. But guess what? I'm leaving. I'm going to go grocery shopping. I really need to. Desperately. So I'm going to go do that. Why is everything lowercase? Because I said so. Because I'm the ruler of my own universe. What is LLAP? I don't know what that means. I keep saying that and I don't know what it means. Long live and prosper. Oh, I see, I see. Don't forget to grab cheese sticks. Oh, don't worry. I won't. Now, thank you guys for the support today, as always. I appreciate it. Um, as you can see, Ultimate Forge is getting very, very close to a test version. Um, I actually could throw out a test version tonight. No, wait, I still need to add the AI to the Forge list and give them some decent pathfinding. Uh, not tonight. Well, maybe, maybe. Stay awake late enough and you'll probably be disappointed, actually. Never mind. Um, test version probably tomorrow. First test version. We'll see what happens. So look forward to it. Hope you're excited for it. I'll see you guys tomorrow, though. Have a good rest of your night, y'all. Bye-bye.